Hello everyone, welcome to my tapping channel. Today we are talking about identity shifting, about the things that are stopping you from being who you truly want to be and how you could use tapping to help you go from feeling the restrictions that you're feeling now in your life, the limitations that you're feeling now in your life, the resistance you're feeling now in your life to being able to feel much, much less of that, to be able to feel like you can just get up and go and do the things that you're actually wanting to do. Before we dive into that, though, my name is Sandra. I am the author of Tapping Into Abundance using EFT Tapping and the Law of Attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. And if you want to do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want to book a clarity session with me to get clear about what is keeping you stuck and you know that you've had enough of trying to do this by yourself, it's just not working and you feel that you need to work with somebody else just to get you to the next level, then do book that clarity session. It's a free 30 minute session. There's a link in the description field below this video. And you can also find out more information about that on my website as well, mysterywitchschool.com. I also have a free masterclass that you might be interested in called How to Heal Your Shadow Through Balancing Your Energy Centers. And this goes through what shadow work is and how that affects your chakras at each level and how you can using your chakras and working with each chakra, you can clear away the energy that's blocking them. So there's a link in the description field below this video for how you could obtain that video. And it's also on my website as well. So the whole idea of moving from this limited restricted version of you to the version of you that has and does the things you want to do is a process of clearing away a lot of limiting beliefs. But that's not the only thing you have to do. You also have to let go of the past. You have to let go of the resentments of the past and let go of the traumas of the past because you can't carry them with you and you shouldn't be carrying them with you because they're from the past. But we have this tendency to believe that the past is going to be the future. And when we're still in the past and we're still holding on to the past, we will bring that past into the future. And it's not because the past automatically creates the future. It's because we're holding on to it and creating our future with the past. We have to let that go. So resentments have to be let go of for your own healing. And when you let go of resentment, it's not giving uh, permission for that person to have done what they've done or that situation. It's not condoning the situation. It is not letting them off the hook. It is simply letting go of that really toxic feeling of resentment and anger and all of that feeling that goes with it. You really got to let that go. It is unhealthy. It causes uh, bad health physically in your body if you're holding on to it long enough and you don't want it moving forward and you can't step into the true version of yourself that version of you that has and does the things you want carrying that resentment with you because it's going to hold you back so that's another thing that you've got to look at when it comes to this work and the third thing is having compassion for yourself looking after yourself and having more of a sense of self-acceptance and compassion for you not beating yourself up over having all these limiting beliefs not beating yourself up for not manifesting what you want to manifest quick enough having the patience with your manifestations allow them to come when they're meant to come when you're ready for them to actually come to you so some of the main beliefs that hold people back from stepping into who they truly are is the belief that it's not safe and it may not feel safe because there might be beliefs that you're not allowed and I've done tapping on I'm not allowed before but it is a real belief that we have because as children we grow up being not allowed to do things and in our religion and the upbringing of our religions we're often told we're not allowed uh, we're also told in religion that we have to suffer in order to get somewhere and so we carry that belief with us as well and these beliefs that there's some higher power out there that's telling us we have to suffer that we're not allowed, that until we've suffered enough, we can't have what we want, are some of the major beliefs that actually stop us from being able to have what it is we want and be who we are. It's like we're, where there's a constant feeling that we're up against something 
And that something's this higher thing. It could be the world, it could be God, it could be a spiritual force that we're up against. And that that is requiring us to somehow do all of this suffering so that we can somehow then be worthy enough <laughs> to get what it is that we want. And this can be an absolute major block to stepping into who you truly are. So we're going to do some tapping around that and we're going to start right away. Karate chop point. Even though I have these beliefs that there's something bigger than me stopping me. That I'm somehow not allowed. That I have to suffer more. I can't have it too easy. All of these beliefs stopping me from living the life I truly want to live. I'm going to honor how I feel anyway. So now we're just going to tap on the points. I have these beliefs. That for some reason I can't be this version of me. Who I want to be. And I don't like it. It's like there's some sort of power. Holding me back. That I have to suffer. In order to be worthy. That I can't have it easy. It has to be hard. I'm not allowed. It has to be hard. I have to prove myself. The problem is that's never going to happen. I'm never going to be allowed. I'll never suffer enough. I'll never be worthy. Because I have these beliefs. Telling me so. And they'll keep telling me over and over and over again no matter what I do because their beliefs And they're not going anywhere. This belief that I need to suffer that I'm not allowed to have it too easy that I'm not worthy unless I've suffered enough I have to do the hard work are oh, what's keeping me stuck. They feel real.
but their beliefs. If I keep believing them, I'll stay stuck. They're not going to let me get what I want. They'll never let me get where I want to be. I've had enough of them. It's time to let them go. What if I can let them go and be safe at the same time? What if I can let them all go and be safe at the same time? What if I can let them go and be safe at the same time? What if I can have it easy? What if I'm allowed to have it easy. What if I can have it easy? What if suffering isn't necessary? What if Suffering isn't necessary. What if I am worthy, just as I am? What if I am worthy? just as I am. Take a deep breath and let it out. This tapping, you can continue. I've put a lot of different beliefs in this one tapping session. It's kind of good just to work with one at a time, but I wanted to reveal some of the most common ones that will get in your way of reaching that next, that next level of breaking through that ceiling where you're feeling stuck You've done a lot of work already and you're still feeling like something's holding you back. Uh, this is the sort of work to do because we are told through our culture, through religions, that we have to suffer in order to get the rewards at the end of our life or in the next life or whatever, <laughs> that we're not allowed to do things. It's not right for us to step into who we truly are or step into our power. We're told these things to suppress us, to stop us from stepping into our power, of course. And it's worked very well because a lot of us are afraid of stepping into that version of ourselves and fully, fully being who we are. And so this life's an opportunity to be able to get rid of all of those beliefs and actually start stepping into you who you are, take back your power and be able to live your life with more ease. Okay, it doesn't have to be about suffering. It can be about learning how to live life with ease through learning how to live life as you truly are. So do that tapping. Let me know in the comments how you go with that tapping because um, I'd love to hear how you go. Now, if you do want to do a DIY course that involves tapping and working with your chakras, I have the Wheels of Empowerment. So it is a course that will help you step more fully into who you truly are by getting rid of those beliefs at each chakra level. And each chakra does resonate with certain things like safety, desire, feelings, 
our the way we assert ourselves in the world and our power in the world, our self-expression, compassion and love, our vision for ourselves in the future and our connection to spirit. And these beliefs, some of them are which we tapped on today, will resonate at various different chakras. So a lot of the ones that we did today are to do with the crown chakra and that connection to spirit because we may have beliefs that some higher power doesn't want us to have it easy. That unless we're suffering, that higher power is going, no, you haven't suffered enough. You've got to work for this. That's a belief, and that's around the, sh- the chakra, the crown chakra. We, have, we may not be able to have a vision for ourselves in the future because our third eye chakra is being clouded with all the negative beliefs at the lower chakras, that we're not good enough, that the world's not safe, that we don't have a right to be here, all of those lower chakra beliefs. So when we're clearing out these beliefs, we can do that at each chakra, and I have a wonderful DIY course that will help you do that. And uh, you can grab that. It's called The Wheels of Empowerment. There's a link in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Sandra and I'll see you on the next video.